it's Julia. I'm back with another sweatshirt transformation. This is my third one in this series and I'll link the playlist up, up above. Uh, this is a color watermelon and it's a comfort colored sweatshirt. And in this, this video I'm going to show you how I do this asymmetrical cut on the, on the top of the neckline. And this just kind of brings a whole new look to a sweatshirt and it's just, it's just very fun. Uh, a little bit more about this sweatshirt. I do use a three-quarter, I cut some of the bottom of the sleeve off, so it's a three-quarter length sleeve. And that's the fabric that I use for the little embellishments. And there's an embellishment on the bottom of each of the sleeves, one at the neckline, and then one at the bottom, which I will also show you. I had this design two years ago in a different color, and it's my number one pin on Pinterest. So I'll make sure to link my Pinterest boards down below and you can kind of follow me along on Pinterest. I do like to pin my, some of my things also. I'll show you the bottom. I cut the bottom band off and just do a slit up the side. This is, real, this is just a real handy little um, feature. It's actually real comfortable. It just kind of gives a little bit of, of wiggle room. These are a little bit longer and so nice to wear with leggings or capris especially in the cool evenings like here in Minnesota we just have cool evenings or evenings when we just want to keep the mosquitoes off of us and so sweatshirts are worn year round and another little little embellishment right above the split so I hope you enjoy this um, I'm just gonna get started sewing and take you along thanks for watching I'm starting with the deconstruction of the neck band starting at the side seam that's kind of towards the back of this particular sweatshirt and just cutting above this clo enclosed seam that is the, what the back is like on this particular sweatshirt. Making sure I'm not cutting that tag. And then I'll be cutting just above the stitching line on this band. That stitching line gives it a finished look. This is an asymmetrical cut on this neckband. And what I do is I make a little mark off center, approximately two inches off center. And then I go down approximately three inches. I don't, and I'm just eyeballing this with a little with a pencil. And then I'm going to go ahead, flip this around and cut through these two little dots that I, I made. This will be flipped down and this will be flipped over. Put a little pin there Such a simple thing to do, but it really adds to a, a nice effect to the top of your of your sweatshirt. I will be sewing this. Now you can sew sew this down with just a straight stitch, or if you have like a blanket stitch or a, an a applique stitch on your machine, you can use that for this. The little em embellishment is going to go kind of right here where the two meet. The next part of this deconstruction is the bottom of the sleeve. I'm going to be cutting the cuff off, but also an additional about four inches. And that's going to give me the fabric that I need for the embellishments. This is such a, uh, this is going to be a, a spring summer sweatshirt. And so the three quarter length sleeve is just fine. And honestly, this is what I always do to mine anyway. They're always kind of shoved up or turned up. I'm just going to take my mechanical pencil, that's what's handy, draw a line and cut this. I'm using this one to measure the other sleeve. And the last part of the deconstruction on this is to cut off this band, the bottom band. And like I've done on several of my other shirts, I am just going to cut right below 
that stitching line all the way around this and just just cutting this band off now I save my bands and keep watching because I am going to be doing a upcoming video I'm hoping hoping this week on on another accessory that I that I make out of these bands and the very last part of this deconstruction I'm going to be taking and, and cutting this bottom of this band up. This is on the right side as it's laying down, but it will actually be on the left side of the body when it's, on, when it's on a person. So I'm going to be cutting, this is the side seam, approximately four inches away from that side seam and approximately four inches up, just on the front of the shirt. Now I have this split here. When I, when I sew this, you can either just take a straight stitch and just edge stitch this up. This is a, a very secure knit and this is not going to fray and it's not going to ravel. Or if you have an applique stitch on your sewing machine or like a blanket stitch, you can go ahead and just use that to kind of edge finish this. And then one of the little embellishments will, will sit right above that split and just add a nice little fun little touch on the bottom of your sweatshirt. So my next step is to the sewing machine and I will be sewing and edge finishing the bottom, the neckband, and also these, the sleeve. For the sleeve I'm going to take just a, a little seam up and then a deeper seam and edge stitch this all the way around. On to making the embellishments for this sweatshirt. I am using the, the fabric from the bottom of the sleeve. I have two layers for, for each cuff, so there's actually four layers of fabric here. And there's one, two, three, four different embellishments on this shirt. I'm going to be cutting the fabric using my, my Sizzix Big Shot and the Sizzix die called Circles Number no. 2. You don't need to do this if you don't have a Sizzix Big Shot. You can just cut out random shapes. They don't have to be perfectly round. You can just cut out cute little shapes. Um, four different size shapes. This has got the four different size circles. This makes such a real cute little, almost like a flower fun, fun embellishment. But I'm layering these on so that they cover up the little circles. I can cut four layers at a time with this and we'll be running this through and kind of just digging these out of here. The reason why I just love using this the fabric of the sweatshirt for the embellishments versus using like the ribbing band is because the inside of these sweatshirts just have such a cool look to them. And so when I make these little embellishments, what I like to do is layer one so that the, the wrong side is up, the next layer so that the wrong side is down. And then I alternate like that. So I have just a really fun, cute little embellishment. I'm just going to stick a pin in the center of this. Get my big shot out of the way here. And go ahead and gather up the, uh, the, the last three of these little circle embellishments here. Now back to the shirt. I'm placing one of the little embellishments right at the top. Kind of right where the these kind of V and there's a, like a little point right there. At the bottom right above the split or the slit here. 
and then one on each of the sleeve. And I want the top of the sleeve. And I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be a little bit big. I might not use this bottom layer. I think I'm just going to use the top three layers for the sleeve embellishment. I am going to be sewing these on using a free motion and I'll set up at the sewing machine so you can see me do that. I will be putting um, clear thread in the top and just my regular bobbin thread in, in the bobbin. So I'll be back. I'm going to set up at my sewing machine. I do have my sea dogs dropped, so I'm doing the, the, the motion here. And this is, there's several layers, so this is a little bit of work to get this through here. And I just kind of keep going in circles. Onto the sleeve. And I have my open arm machine here, and I put that sleeve kind of around that open arm. I wanted to show you a close up of these little these little circles. When I do my free motion, I don't catch all the edges because I really like the dimension that it gives. And there's another one. And the one at the neckline and the one in the at the bottom. Such a simple quick little up kind of like an updo to a sweatshirt and I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit that subscribe button if you are wanting to see any more of these. I'll be uploading um, sweatshirt transformations for a few more weeks now and also the accessories and things that go with them. So thanks again for watching. Bye!